Hey guys, it's Craig Cruz and I'm here back with another video. In this video today, I'm going to be covering the new update of Procreate. The update is 3.2 and there's some really cool stuff. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I just came out of the shower and I was like, la la la. So I come up to my iPad and I saw that Procreate had an update. I went to Procreate to do something and I was like, what? I was in the middle of a project and I was like, see what's new? And I was like, oh crap, what's new? I was like, must have been an update. So I looked, it's 3.2 and I was like, uh, hopefully it's something really cool. Well, it is. So. Let's go to Procreate here. Oop, this is one of my documents. Uh, so, let me uh, take you. Actually, I'm gonna have to go in one of these anyways. Let's let's just go in this one. So, this is Monster Society of America. If you guys don't know, with Saturday AM, one of my publications. Well, my only publication. So, let's go to what's new. And. So I'm I'm not sure exactly what's going on here because I have the I'm I'm using the old version of the color wheel here, but uh, most advanced painting app ever designed for a mobile device. Create beautiful sketches, inspiring paintings, and stunning illustrations whenever you wherever you are. Um, well, okay, that's cool. Okay, so now let's see what's new. Photoshop document. You can import Photoshop documents. This is freaking awesome. Finally, finally, finally. I've been waiting for this for a while now. And then, yes, you have it now. And you can, if you're a Photoshop user, you can throw it in here and do it on the go. Freaking awesome. Let's go to what's what else is new. So, as you can see here, you can uh, connect your keyboard and use keyboard shortcuts. Sucks for me because I don't have a keyboard, but that's freaking awesome, and I might actually get a keyboard just because of this. Yes. All right, next one. This is freaking awesome as well. Well, actually, this is not that, not as much. So basically, um, your little, your little toggle things, the things that you go into to change your settings, they put opacity in there, so or opacity, whatever either one and uh, so that's pretty convenient so you can do that um, let's see what the first part uh, experience a vast improved layering system designed and rebuilt for the group of include. all right so this also links with this one you can now you can group layers which is one of the things I was showing you you can now group layers together which is really cool. You can actually have a folder now and you can drop other layers into that folder. That's really cool. And now this is really cool. I'm super psyched. Oh, wait, maybe it's not this one. Well, oh, you can move multiple layers at once. You can delete multiple layers at once. And now I think it's this one that makes me most excited. You can select multiple layers and you can finally move multiple layers at once from a selection. I'm hoping you can select it and do that too, but for now it looks like they're only using the arrow which selects everything within that layer, um, the layers that you chose. But I'm really hoping that they, it works with selection. I haven't tested any of this out. Um, and live broadcast. This is cool too. Really excited. Um, I might try this sometime. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some tests, but uh, I don't know if you guys would be, even be interested in any live broadcasts. <laughs> but yeah, that's totally tight. Live broadcasts. Um, you can do a screen capture recording or screen capture in real time. Screen in real time. Uh, so I guess you can screen capture it. When I don't. Know. That one's not that interesting to me. And. That's all you got. So I'm going to show you some of this right here. So you can select multiple layers by just doing this, 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 and this. Then you have multiple layers selected. And it stays selected. So it looks like 
if I had them selected and I went off, it keeps them selected. So I'm guessing I can then select this and then decide to do this and move. It does do it. That is awesome. I'm so happy that they did this. Um, and you can also, as you saw, one of the first things was, uh, I guess you can now um, backspace multiple times by holding down. Let's let, let's see. So I'm going to move it here. I'm going to stop. Now move it here. Now stop. Then I'm going to move it here. I'm going to stop. And now, yep, you can do it multiple times. That's, <laughs> yes. All right. So now, <clears throat> let's see. I haven't tried any of this stuff, like I said. Let me see if I can make a group. I have to. I have to rewatch that. Move multiple, multiple ones at once. Okay. So let's just do this. Oh, okay. Okay, I got a group selected now, and you can now pull them down like that. All right. Well, uh, so then I can do this, and then um. So I guess you could just pull them out like this. Hold them. Pull them out. Yeah, and then, okay, yeah, you can delete the folder. So what you do is you just hold it, pull it over, and you kind of see a change in the little mini layer icon there, and then you just drop it. So it just takes a brief, just a brief second. Um, and, I, and then you could probably move the group. Oh, what the? How was I able? Oh, I think I just took them out. Yeah, I'm going to delete the group now. And this is the multiple selection of layers here. You move them around wherever you want. It's cool. Use the selection on them like we saw just a minute ago. And let's click again to get it off. It looks like when you do this, this line up here, this is the option to delete all the layers that are selected. Alrighty, so... Let's see if there's anything cool here. Let me see what happens when you do this and it's all in a group flatten merge. So I guess merge goes down to that one and flatten would be merging all the layers in the group together. Okay, so that's a feature that they added there for the group. What happens if I delete the group? Yep. And just as we would have suspected, <laughs> deletes everything in there. Okay. So, um, one other thing is since when you do this, it's a selection now, some people might be wondering, how do I lock the opacity of it? Well, you just use two fingers now. And as you saw, the little layer icon here, it shows now like a checkerboard, um, which is no color, not just white, but no color. That's what it stands for for the other ones. I forgot what it's actually called. But and then, then you do it again. It goes back to gray. So this two fingers locks the opacity of the layer, so that way you wouldn't be drawing anywhere else. And then you do it again, and it's back to normal. So um, the let me show you this. This is where it has a little camera feature. The video feature here now so I guess screen capture would just be you doing it in real time so it wouldn't be sped up or anything and then live broadcast is pretty you know live broadcast and then uh, time lapse replay uh, I don't know that's maybe for you to watch and then the time lapse recording I actually never recorded this I haven't used any of the recording feature on here so I'm kind of a newbie when it comes to that I might try it sometime I've always just use my phone to record but all right the last thing is well I, I actually don't have a keyboard so I can't do that I already mentioned that I might get one because of that but yeah I can't show you the features for that so but um let's try importing a Photoshop document um import let's go to cloud let's go to folder 2 and let's go to this file right here 
Mm. Hmm. Looks like it might take a while. It's kind of a big file. I'll pause the video and let you know how long it took. All right, so it did do it. Um, it looks like it, oh, see, it was like that for a while. Okay, yeah, so it took a, took a little while. Um, it took almost about, almost two minutes. Just do this file. This file I can show you right now, what size it is. So 400 DPI and it's, it's a 19.02 megabyte file. So it's a pretty decent sized file. I mean, there's bigger files than that, but it's a pretty decent sized file. So I guess it makes sense. It took a while and this is really their first version of being able to import a Photoshop document. So, eh, 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 here, there, you know. Well, and with this update, um, there is, after the iOS 10 update, there's a lot of lag issues. It was kind of weird before everything moved really smoothly with the lines, and it was just really nice, and it, and it's, it's back to that now. Um, it's really nice. I before there was like you would do this and it would like chop in between but it looks like they fixed all that it's back to being nice and buttery smooth well that about wraps it up you guys can always find me on my facebook page and i'll leave all the links to everything you possibly need to know about me in my description if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button and if you want to see more please subscribe and like always guys